everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back. Today I thought I'd do a get ready with you using some of my new products that I'd purchased and share my thoughts with you as I'm using them and what I think. So if you guys are interested in sticking around seeing a get ready with me and using some of my new products, keep on watching. Okay, so I thought I'd go ahead and do a get ready with me using some of my new products. Some items that I'm going to be putting on my face aren't going to be new, so I'm not really going to get into full detail with them. Obviously, it's basically the products that I purchased that are kind of relatively new, so I can tell you maybe some thoughts and opinions on them, and we can kind of see how they work uh, together. I always put a lip balm on my lips, so I already did that. Next, I usually always put on a primer. So the primer I'm going to use is this e.l.f. one right here. It's crazy because this is exactly how it looks when you get it out of the box. Nothing on it. On the back, nothing. It's so crazy. So I kept the box so I could remember the name of it. And it's called Beautifully Bare Luminous Matte Makeup Primer with a Quai Berry. It's a lit lit from within um, primer. I used it one so, what, the one so far and it wasn't too bad. So there it is right there. It uh, does have a moisturizer looking of a substance and it does a little bit feel like a moisturizer. You can feel the silicone in it but um, it doesn't feel as, um, you know, how like some of their other, because I do like some of the e.l.f. primers. Um, this one doesn't feel as slick and silicone like those ones do. I'm not sure if it's giving me a lit from within yet, but let's see. I might see some, I can see some luminosity to it. All right, next I'm gonna do my eyes and I just have a small sample of this and I shared it in uh, one of my videos, uh, my likes and not likes. It's the Urban Decay Anti-Aging Eyeshadow Primer Potion, Long Lasting Eyeshadow Base. And it's just a sample and on the back it has nude on it. I don't know if it comes in other shades or I'm guessing maybe. But all this does is smooths out the top of the eyelids. It doesn't really uh, do a lot of camouflage to it. I didn't feel it did for me. I mean, somewhat. So you do have some redness there. Uh, I don't know if this would be your primer to go. That's what it looks like right there. So it does have, you know, um, color to it. Yeah, see it smooths out. It might do a little bit. Okay, and then for my eyeshadow palette, I'm going to use the Natural Love Palette from Too Faced. My cat sees them flowers back there and he goes nuts every time. So to start off using a base on my eyelids, I'm going to use the color they call Heaven right here. Use that from lash line to brow. Here I'm purring. He gets all excited. Yeah. I get all excited. This is my, that's my little Simon. Say hi everybody. Say hi everybody. Oh, he's screaming. He says, now I'm done. pink tones in here I think is my goal. <sighs> That's what I get. Like I want to have flowers up there and he won't let me have flowers up there. <laughs> First I'm going to take makeup and chill. It's a deep uh, brown color and work it. I'm going to go in my crease area. Okay, 
I'm going to take my fluffy brush again, and I think I'm going to go into honey butter. I like that color, honey butter. Work it on top, on top along the makeup and chill. I'm not no professional makeup artist, as most y'all know. I'm not somebody that took classes. I just learn and play. Color I'm going to use in the pink tones is this one here called Kittens. So I'm going to use that one. And I'm going to put it all over on most of my eyelid. The color called bunny nose it's more of that that one right there the more brighter pink and I'm gonna work that halfway coming in word work that in there yeah it's kind of pretty windy out here it's been blowing up a storm speaking of storms oh my goodness yesterday if most of y'all see me post on Facebook, we had some tornado watches yesterday. It was pretty crazy. Me or this bunny nose ain't going on as good as I want it to. I do kick up a lot, I will say that. Okay, I'm gonna dip into Makeup and Chill again and work back into my crease a little bit more. I have the color Sil Silhouette, this black shade. The black shade I'm gonna use just to work along on the outer edge a little bit, just to add a little more uh, definition there. I'm gonna do like, a lot of people do like the number seven like let it come down in the creep down here and then work it over a little bit I'm going to take my fluffy brush and kind of work that I'm gonna dip back into honey butter dip into honey butter again this one here it's a matte shade bunny nose and I think I'm gonna use my finger this time and kind of pat right here a little bit make it pop a little bit more. I should wet it but I don't have anything to wet right now. Okay for below the brow area I think I'm going to use pink cheeks. <laughs> this one here that's on the very front. This is why I need to get better lighting so you guys can probably see the colors better. I'm not seeing them too well and I can't on the whatever to you know on this part that great but sometimes I'll play it back and then it will show the colors you know great do I have something in my hair I think I did all right so next I'm going to use my Rimmel eyeliner the new eyeliner I got from uh, Rimmel it's the color precise eyeliner so it's this one here really big tip but that's why I like it because I feel like I can get pretty close to the lash line area. I think I love this one even better than the L'Oreal Paints one. And this one's even cheaper. So I totally give that one this a thumbs up. 
I'm going to use for my boxy charm. I got these uh, brushes from Pure Cosmetics in my boxy charm. I didn't show you guys my last boxy charm. One, I got it late. Two, the highlighter from Ofra uh, was shattered. It was completely broken. So let them know about that. So I'm going to use one of their sponges, these here. Now, I, I'm i pretty sure, I think these are the same ones I got in my, uh, when you get the contouring stick. I think these are close to that or the same like that. I'm not quite sure, but I'm going to give it a whirl, give it a try. All right, before I do the um, foundation, I almost forgot, I'm going to go ahead and use the Maybelline, um, the Master Cameo. It has, it's like a, one side has correctors, one side has, or one part has concealers and then like highlighting kind of thing. And I have used this a couple different times and it's actually not too bad. I'm going to take some of the green color. I use the green color sometimes to kind of work around my cheek area where I can get some redness. Now I use my fingers. I'm sure you probably can use a brush if you want to. I'm I'm somebody just not bothered. I wash my hands all a good bit, so I don't know. I'm just not somebody that's creeped out by that. But if you're somebody that does get whatever, you know, with using the fingers or hands, you know, obviously by all means, use a brush. If somebody else put their fingers in there, yeah, then I'd be like, you know what, I'm gonna have to get a new one. But my own, no, I, I do my, I wash my fingers so, and hands. I'm not bothered. Next, I'm going to take concealers here and I'm going to work them along. I never even did the concealer in between my eyes like I do. I'm going to take both colors of the concealer from that kit and I'm going to put them here. Now, I think the concealer in this kit's okay. It's not bad. Next, I'm going to use the highlighting part and kind of highlight around down here on my cheeks. The Neutrogena uh, Hydro Boost Hydrating Tint. It has hyaluronic acid in it. Moisturizes and plumps. It's supposed to do that for 24 hours, which as most of us, we don't wear, obviously, the makeup for 24 hours. Uh, this has the doe foot applicator on it, so we're going to go ahead and, and put some of this on. And I have been using it, and I have actually been really liking it so far. It is a more, if you're looking for full coverage, this isn't going to be it, I don't feel. the blender and I have used one of these before from Pure Cosmetics slant on it too so if you did want to use for your concealer The coverage that I get myself, but I did use the green, maintain the redness and everything. And uh, so, yeah, I have no new powder, so I'm just gonna use my Mally Poreless powder on the lower part of my lash line area. Go ahead and take the makeup and chill and work down on the lower lash area. that one right there and put it um, in front of. I put that makeup and chill down along here and worked it to about more than halfway through and I'm going to do kittens the rest of the way. She's here and use honey butter a little bit mix it within the makeup and chill. 
And then I'm actually going to take Moonbeam and put that in the inner tier area to kind of really pop the inner tier area. Funny enough, it, uh, I forgot to put my mascara and my eyeliner on. <laughs> I'm going to use Brown Nose over Mally. Okay, so I put my mascara on. I finished it off camera. Figured y'all didn't want to see me do that forever and a day. Now I'm going to use the Brow This Way from Rimmel. This is called Brow This Way. And I got mine in the dark brown. As I told you guys uh, in my one video, a little goes a long way. You have to be very light-handed. Very, obviously, like I said, light-handed. And work it. Work it. You can probably hear my kitty. Sometimes it gets disappointing with this, so that's why I want to try some other ones. Uh, sometimes I do feel like I see a little bit of clumpness from it. But it's a very, you have to be very careful, I guess, is what I'm saying. There you go. That's one brow. I'm not good with my brows. I wouldn't say I'm like somebody that's on fleek, as they say. <laughs> but I do my best. Uh, I work and try my best. Contour the cheek area, my all-famous chocolate soleil here is going to be a test for me but i think i'm going to use this double uh, blush the blush and highlighter my daughter and i she was here and we were swatching them and this one here is called uh moon moonbeam pearls and no matter how much it's more of a I would say this one has more of a uh, more sheen glow to it. This one has a little more, uh, a little more punch to it than rose gold. So it's like supposed to be a blush and highlight from Elf. So we're gonna give that a whirl. I like to do the highlighter first, then put the blush on. Let's see how well this does. So here we go. Hmm. Okay, with the brush, it blends on really nice. Yeah, you can see it. Tap into the rose gold uh, blush. I always start from back here. I agree, uh, starting back from here, especially as we get older, works a little better because then you're not like all of a sudden pow on your cheeks and working it back. And you know what I'm saying. Hmm, okay. Gives a nice glow. Boy, I'm going to be glowing to the gods, I think. No, like putting it on, it looks pretty. Mm -hmm. It's not bad, not bad at all. I'll let you know what color this is. It's a Bite Beauty lippy. Let's set my makeup. I'm setting it with my hard candy candle lit. These are nice to actually just set with. They're not much of a highlighter. They're more just to set your whole makeup. Okay, beauties, so thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate that. This is the look I got with a lot of my new products. I would say I really love the foundation. I have used it a good bit now, and it does give a more light to medium coverage, but it is a really, really nice uh, foundation. This will be really good for the summertime. And the uh, this little compact here, I really like it in the sense the concealer, the concealers in here aren't my favorite Maybelline concealers. They're not bad. They work. They're they're pretty good. I would actually say I really like more the camouflage, like the green color, and sometimes I do use the yellow to help maintain my redness. This is like a $12 compact. It's pretty pricey. The highlighting 
areas aren't bad too. They do work pretty good. I do like them. They're uh, the eyeliner from Rimmel. I really think this is going to be a favorite in the drugstore for a eyeliner with the tip, you know, the precise uh, tip that they give you. I think this one, if you guys are looking for a really good tip, I I feel like this gives you the perfect wing when you want to work with it. The beauty sponge um, is not bad. It's good. I kind of feel like I like the Eco Tools a little bit better, even because when I wet this, it's still a little more, it's more stiff. And I kind of like the Eco Tools. It bounces a little more, but these aren't bad. They're, they're okay. I think I would stick with my Eco Tools just in all honesty. Yes, the primer, this primer here. I have to say I really like it, but I do like the e.l.f. primers. This one doesn't feel as slick and silicone, so if you don't like, it does have it, you can feel it, but if you don't like the real slick. Love the palette. I do like the palette. I do feel like it can be a hit and miss with some of the colors in there because I feel like when I'm looking on the camera right now, I'm not seeing that pink that I'd like to see. Bunny nose. I was kind of little having a hard time with it, but I don't have... I need to get a spray. I always keep saying that and I don't have any kind of makeup spray because maybe if you wet it a little bit more, maybe it would have popped and showed a little bit more. Or if you do use a, and I always forget this, like milk, I should use my milk crayon because sometimes when you use a white base like the milk crayon from NYX, that sometimes helps the color pop a little bit more. Blush and cheek, the rose uh, rose gold. I like it. Hey, beauties, thank you so much for joining me. I'm looking at the time. This is really going to be edited. Edited. If you did like this video, please give me a thumbs up. That helped me out so much. And put a smile on my face. Also, if you are not subscribed to my channel, you can come and join me each week. Go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. And also, please make sure you hit the bell. The bell will notify you guys uh, when my new videos uh, are uploaded, it will notify you by email. So go ahead and hit the bell and the subscribe button together and you can join me each week. And as always, beauties, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, you take care. I will see you then. Love you guys. Bye.